Hey everybody, BK Stunt here with Dead Space 3. We're doing uh, Mission 17, A Strange City. We're getting uh, close to the end of the game. There's only 19, well there's 20 missions if you count zero. So we're, we got 17, 18, and 19 left, and we also got one last optional mission left, which you uncover in the middle of uh, Mission 17. So I'm going to make this a two-part mission. It's going to be pretty short, but uh, that, that way we can do the optional mission and not interrupt the game flow or the videos too badly. So we just fell down. Go ahead and uh, start up the generator. Grab some items. Oh yeah, I got slightly better. Uh, since I put that chip in, I got slightly better clip on my chain gun. Up to 100 shots now. Here's a uh, semi-hidden alien artifact. Be sure to grab that. Here's a bench to play with. We can store the frame we got. I need more uh, I need more circuits with better clips and damage ratings oh well okay let's go Got a text log here. Now if you try to leave, a uh, show will start. The misshapen moon in orbit. That's what controls the markers. It's the end state of these creatures. Or rather, it would have been. You see, the natives of this planet constructed a machine that froze the moon in mid-formation. But it wasn't enough. Even half-formed, the moon's marker signal speaks to the markers back home. And it doesn't end there. There is a network of brethren moons spanning the stars. As each one completes, it connects to this network, making them aware. If this moon should complete, its brothers will all come, looking for food. But there is hope. The natives never finished configuring the machine. It wasn't meant to merely freeze the moon, it was meant to destroy it. You'll need the Codex. It is the key to unlocking this machine and reconfiguring it. Follow my trail into the heart of the machine and end this nightmare. Carver, did you hear that? The machine could crush the moon. It just needs to be properly configured. What about Danik? Stopping Danik won't be enough. We need to get that codex back. It's the key to reconfiguring the machine. But Serrano's locked the passage using some kind of alien glyphs. I'm gonna look for a way to bypass it. So there they pretty much, uh, well they pretty much spell out what you need to do and they pretty much spell out the plot that Dead Space has, involved, has evolved into. Which is of course that the moons are going to kill us. <laughs> now check this video out. Open. Now that's the alien language, and those are the glyphs you need to use to get uh, past the door. So just interact with the door. You can set the glyphs. So that one's right. Like that, and like that. And then you can get past. If it lets us.
This must be Ground Zero. And that must be the machine. So I guess this is it, huh? Yeah. This is it. I need you to promise me something. If I don't make it, you'll get this done, right? We'll get this done, Carver. You and me. Yeah, but if I don't... I helped get us this far. And that's close enough for all this to count, right? Count for what? For... I don't know. It's just... All the bad I've done. Oh, shut up, Carver. You're a good man. I alienated my son, wrecked my family. Isaac, I killed Santos. Is that what a good man does? Good men mean well. You just don't always end up doing well. Hey. I'm sorry about Ellie. Too late. I'll turn it back now, right? Let's go get that codex. Come on! Skip! Eyes at these paths! They join up with Danix up ahead! Try to slow them down. I'll find another way. Well, Carver has a human side, it seems. That's cool. Danik, you have to stop. Isaac, is that you? You are unbelievably hard to kill. Are you aware of that? Danik, do you know about the moon? Do you know what it is? Part of the miraculous ecosystem, I assume. It's alive, Danik. It's hungry, and it isn't alone. If you turn off the machine, you'll set it free. And then it and all its brothers find our markers, find us, and wipe us out. How can you presume to know its intentions? You fear it because you don't understand it. Danik, hear me out! Danik, are you listening to me? Motherfucker! <laughs> Trying to reason with a madman. Okay, as you guys saw on your way down, there is a uh, upgrade circuit over there that you can uh, TK towards you. So be sure to grab it. And there's apparently a uh, scavenge point right here. Go ahead and head over here, get the container and this thing. Which you have to uh, hold out in front of you. This is a detonator. We'll need it further on ahead. So you may as well grab it ahead of time. It's going to blow the crap out of this thing over here. Run! <laughs> this should be good. Uh, there's more of those up ahead. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, yeah. So we got an artifact coming up. Well, that was easy. And you're just a light. Okay. Oh, where is that artifact? Okay, there we go. Unitologist artifact. That is the last one of the game, so it unlocks a... Unitologist circuit set at the bench, a set of upgrade chips basically for your uh, weapons. 
which is cool. I think there's another container around here somewhere. But I'm not too concerned about that. We're going to need another one, so go ahead and grab it. My plan involves blowing shit up. That's not good. <laughs> Carver, over here. Where? Even though we fell together, we we're separated again because, of course, we're playing single player. And that's just how it works. So let's continue on. We're going to fight some alien necromorphs in this area, the big ones. There we go. And as you can see, they produce the little ones. They can also charge us, so I like to slow it down and then use explosives. This chain gun slash rocket launcher or any fast firing weapon with stasis and explosions really, uh, really shines through when you fight these alien necromorphs. Okay, and this is where the game is going to branch. They want us to go that way. There's an optional path over here. You don't get the optional mission yet until you play with this box, so let's go ahead and play with it some of our brightest archaeologists and soldiers. What happened to them down here? Served as a cautionary tale to us all. What drove them to such extreme behavior, to such depravity and violence? I have sequestered their bodies in the staging compound. There I hope to find answers, not only to their demise, but to the workings of the artifact they discovered in the depths. As you can see, once we played with it, it played this, uh message automatically and gave us the optional mission to investigate uh, what's it say investigate artifact storage basically a bunch of people went crazy and they uh, they quarantined them down there staging compound there I hope to find answers not only to their demise but to the workings of the artifact they discovered in the depths yeah not good. Okay, so this is actually the last optional mission of the game, Investigate Artifact Storage. So I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to end the video now. I'm going to call this, uh, you know, Mission 17 Part 1. And that will give us a chance to run through Artifact Storage in another video. And then come back and finish up the mission with uh, Part 2. Okay guys, well thanks for coming along with me and uh, hanging out. We got the codex and we'll finish up the game soon. Okay, I'll catch you in the next video when we do the artifact storage. Okay, later.